What's the matter? Are you a neighbor? You need to get those babies out. Don't eat the tree. Good morning! It is the week before Christmas, so Sandy made a toque. Um, my machine kind of puked in a few places, so for all the knitters out there, ignore or laugh. Today marks day 17 of these use synchronization, which means uh, day one of cycle number two. So I have had my eye on a U laying down here the whole feeding time when Chris was feeding. She has not got up, so whether there's something going on here or she's not feeling good, maybe. But she's this one right here. What's the matter? I hope it's not Craig Talks. I've done so well. Hold on. Anything down there? No. What's the matter? Mm hmm? Is it Preg Talks? I hope not. What's the matter? Are you a neighbor? I think if I had my guess, I'm wondering if she's down with Preg Talks. I was in here yesterday afternoon and I didn't notice anything weird. Um, these U's are due this week, so I can induce her. If it is Preg Talks, the quicker you can get these out, if they're full term, the better and the better chance I can get Mom back up on her feet. She could be in labor. But if she was in labor, she'd get up, and she won't get up. I'm gonna do some investigating. Anybody else today? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah, she's. I'm gonna check first for a baby. If no baby, I'm gonna treat for preg talks. All right. I was able to move her, which is nice. She's very uneasy on her feet though. So she's either at the beginning stages of preg talks or she's having, or she's got a stuck baby. But I'm gonna check the uh, obvious one first. Yeah, she's not dilated. So I'm thinking she's got preg talks, just the beginning. So, unfortunately, I have been getting fairly decent at this. <laughs> we, uh, we do orally, we do some glycol, we do sub-Q, we do some calcium boroglucanate. Um, I give some Medicam for the pain. And I am going to induce her. I thought I had it on my phone, and I think I do. I just have a lot of other stuff on my phone. But I do have an SOP book here. And my vet gave me um, like what, how, what to do, protocols on what to do on certain illnesses. I've got SOPs for listeriosis, mastitis, metritis, joint ill. I've got all the main, like all the stuff that happens to me usually. So I should have it in my book here. Preg talks. Yeah, basically. Watch closely at feeding time for the slowest use to get up and eat grain. If you are unsure, check again in a few hours by entering the pen and getting everyone up. The last ones to stand or the first to lay back down need an extra look. Prevention. Providing extra energy to use in the last three weeks before lambing by feeding more grain pellets and very high hay, quality hay, which we're doing. 
Monitor used for weight loss during this time. Fat ewes are at higher risk of preg tox than thin ewes. Uh, so the treatment he gives me is that glycol, 35 mils twice a day for three to five days. Uh, I have to do 50 mils of that calcium boroglucanate sub-Q once daily and Medicam uh, 2.25 mil per 100 pounds. That U is likely about 150 pounds, I'm going to guess, if not more. Um, and then you do that every other day as needed. So I'm just going to quickly grab a screen, grab a picture of that and take it into the pen. So I knew what I had to treat with, but I get a little bit, uh, I just forget the actual dosages because you don't do it every day. You do it like, hopefully never. <laughs> All right, lady. 35 mils of glycol. Good. 50 mils of calcium. Sub Q, and I go in a few spots on her back. So I'm going to do 10 mils five times. So you basically lift up the skin and make like a tent and then just get right just under the skin. So that's one, two. I don't love the way she's breathing. She's breathing a bit heavy as well. Three, four, five. All right, now I'm going to do Medicam, painkiller. And dexamethasone. And this is this is not to treat preg tox, this is actually to induce labor. Because these guys are due uh, this week and I think she's close. I'll sacrifice a lamb being a couple days early to uh, make sure mom's okay. If you can get a U when they first go down with preg tox, you have a way better chance of saving them. If they're down for a day or more, I don't usually have a lot of luck. Come on, babies, we need you to come out. The thing about induction, I've had it go lots of different ways. I've had babies come real quick after I've induced them, which probably means she was gonna lamb anyway. I've also had to wait like, oh. If a ewe isn't ready to lamb, but she's close, um, it takes about 50 hours. So she is trying to get up. <laughs> Girl, get you some water. Getting down already? Want some water? I'll just put this here. If you want it, you got it. Okay? There you go. Oh, that's good. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Good girl. All right, ladies, we are going to combine these two pens together. Uh, I think they've been in their own little pens for long enough. This pen is getting old enough and the, everybody's growing and getting bigger. And there's a lot more in this pen than the second pen. So I just want to split these two. I'm going to put these two together just so they have more room. It's another night check. Uh, my day ended up being kind of random. I ran to the post office, the vet clinic, and then Belinda's, and uh, ended up 
visiting that sweet little baby for like two hours. I've been checking my cameras, there's been nothing. Um, but I do have to do my glycol again for my lady. She's moved a few times today. So hopefully, hopefully she's getting up on her feet a little bit better. Hi, Mama. You're, did you eat? You pooped. So she was in the other corner. Now she's facing this way. She was facing this way about an hour ago. Hey, buddy. These guys are still in this pen. Because this one's still having trouble getting up. You can do it. Good baby. That's a baby. There you go. Got some water? Okay. Are you going to be okay? Morning, you guys. We are at uh, Tuesday. Really, nothing yesterday. Nothing today. I thought maybe, perhaps. I was watching this mama as I was making my coffee in the cameras, and uh, I couldn't see anything behind her. So I'm hoping it comes today just to help her get up. I don't like Frank talks. If that's what it is. So we'll see if we progressed at all. I don't think so yet. Not quite yet, eh? Can you get up? What you get? Oh, so no lammy that I can feel. I would say full-blown uh, preg tox. She's not even trying to stand up, which isn't a good sign. I thought maybe I caught her in time yesterday because I was able to walk her from the back of the pen up to the front. And usually with preg tox, you can't. So the only thing that will help at this point is to get those lambs out. So we'll wait for this induction to start working and pray that that's going to happen soon. We are on our, on our booster of that uh, chlamydia vaccine we did 21 days ago, so three weeks ago today. I wrote it in my planner. Carissa reminded me yesterday that it needed done this morning, so we're going to do this uh, before anything else today. 
and it's the second of two doses to prevent them from some abortion diseases when they have their first lamb. So these guys are ewe lambs who've never lamb before. They're gonna get bred in January. So this whole thing has to be done before they get bred, but it needs to be done three weeks after your first dose. It's time to uh, have our daily treatment. Some of it's once a day, some of it's twice a day, if you remember yesterday. So I'm gonna do the glycol and uh, the calcium today. The other, the Medicam lasts two days, so I don't have to do it again. And the dexamethasone, I only have to do once. You need to get those babies out, yes. There you go, girl. A good girl. Good, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. That's a girl. Good girl. So we got her up. She's peeing. That's a good sign. We have not done Advent for a lot of days. Today's the 21st. I say we just skip 17, it. 18, 19, 20. We're just, we are gonna skip. We'll give Jack and Mark all the rest. And I'm gonna go right to 21. <laughs> and Jess is eating chips. Smoky bacon, because we're Canadian. I wanna show you guys something, just that. Keep them entertained. They taste like hickory sticks. The smoky bacon. Do you think they taste like hickory sticks, mom? Yeah. Just like chip form. So I made this guy for my hairdresser tonight with the year on the back. Last well, hairdresser before lockdown oh, yeah. starts. Hopefully not. I made a little Rudolph. Little snowman. That one's my favorite. It's so cute. Some of them I don't like, so I'm not gonna show them all. <laughs> little gingerbread man. Anyway. Super cute. People are getting ornaments for Christmas. Hopefully they don't watch this anyway. I think we're good. Can I have a chip to wash down my chocolate? Yeah. Health and nutrition. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Daily update with Jess. I'm getting better. We I are. Just have a little bit of chest pain still. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, my chip. Hey you, don't eat the tree.
so I've been watching this you in the camera and she's kind of sitting on her haunches now so I'm wondering I don't see her actively pushing though so might be a false alarm but she could be starting what are we doing we are sitting like a dog are you sitting like a dog does that help gravity <laughs> do you want me to see what's going on all right she doesn't feel close so if she wasn't if she wasn't ready to give birth when I induced her um, it will take about 50 hours so that's kind of my what I've seen in the past so if I'm not met with lambs in the morning she's probably gonna be like 10 a.m. or between 10 and 12 tomorrow based on some past experience so I will give her one more shot of glycol here and uh, yeah and then I guess just watch and these ladies are just they are waiting to the very end to give me any more babies I checked my post office box yesterday I got a whack of more Christmas cards so thank you for that I got a few gifts from some of you guys and although I am so incredibly grateful for all your gifts um, I, d I don't need anything. I have everything I need. I have a little girl who's feeling better as every day goes by. So thank you dearly. Thank, thank you for all this. I don't need anything, but I am incredibly humbled and I thank you. I thought I would check yesterday's upload. I apologize. There was no, there wasn't a vlog today because there wasn't enough stuff yesterday and I'm not going to go through all the editing and, and create a video that really there's not enough there for you guys so I apologize uh this one has 502 likes 21 replies so it's from Megan Wacker hey everyone Sandy is truly an inspiration to me about a year ago she inspired me to get sheep I got three ewes and two rams now I have 22 show quality sheep I show sheep and truly love it I'm only 13 years old and I'm starting my own business with my sheep this is all because of you Sandy Aww. Well, it's not because of me, because sheep are a lot of work. So you may have just watched me and got some ideas, but you are doing the work. This is all you. And uh, congrats and keep going. There's going to be good days, going to be bad days. This one's from LaDonna Knowlton. The Lammy Hop never gets old. It's so cute. Uh, yeah, I call it. I call it popcorn. They just look like popcorn. I don't know how they get these little jumping beans, but certain times of day, I just, I start running the camera because I know they're, it, all it takes is one and they're like, it's just like heating up little kernels of corn and it's so much fun. Uh, this one has 263 likes from Tina Bell. The screaming lamb made me laugh so much. Absolutely hilarious. Sandy, I feel your use. Know that you're needing to be with Jess so they're waiting for a more suitable time to bless you with more lambs and a hectic schedule. Continuing to send Jess light and love. She really did look more herself today. Thank you for sharing your life with us. I, for one, love all your vlogs. Oh, by the way, uh, that is a lot of wool. Excited to see what it becomes. Also, the respect towards Jess is so heartwarming and a great example for all parents. Thank you. Thank you for that, Tina. Uh, yeah, it's so nice to see Jess come a little... Her smile gets a little bigger every single day, but she is slow. Um, she's really tired. She still has this chest pain. So, um, so yeah, just continue to, uh, send good vibes her way. And, uh, she's really looking forward to Christmas. She's really looking forward to Jack coming home. She said, doesn't feel like Christmas until Jack comes home. So he's supposed to come home tonight. He finished exams Friday. Uh, but I think he's just been hanging out with his friends and, uh, I don't blame him. So I think we are all up to date with everything. My brain is just really fried with everything that has been going on here for the last couple of months so I appreciate you guys being patient with me and um, hopefully that you can get back up on our feet and uh, maybe on the next video we will finally have some lambs. <laughs>